Hello Twin Flames, welcome to my channel, whether you are new or coming back. I'm happy to have you all and let's get down to our daily check-in. Uh, I will start with an oracle card as always and today I decided to get the Angel Therapy deck. With some guidance, with some advice, I feel like it's something that we can use right now uh, as we are in the time of big shift. We are officially in the Lionsgate portal. And it will last for another couple of weeks. Of course, uh, the peak of it is going to be on the actual August 8th. And we will do a special reading for it. Also this week, I'm going to be talking about Mercury retrograde. I'm going to be talking about new moon in Leo. So a lot's happening. But let's start with our daily check-in. And of course, we have a new installment of the uh, Mindfully Awake coming out this Friday. I will announce a topic either tomorrow or it might be Friday, we'll see. Because I'm still deciding which topic of the two that I have in mind I want to cover this Friday. I will start getting guests in August, so it's going to be even more exciting. So Feminines, your card is workshops and seminars. Attending and giving speeches is part of your spiritual path and purpose. Be open to teaching and learning. Maybe there is some kind of seminar, some kind of workshop that you're considering right now. This is a sign that it's a really good idea. It was uh, put in front of you for a reason and you should take it on. If you have more than one that you're considering between then or among, um, follow your heart, follow, follow your guidance. Doesn't mean you have to do everything. I am like that too. Sometimes like I'm a learner, I'm a student at heart. I love to learn. I love the energy healing sessions, all kinds of things. And you know, like you're looking at it and everything sounds exciting and the promise is, it sounds excellent in those events. It's like, oh, I want to do all five. <laughs> then I'm like, yes, okay, let's just calm down. Let's sleep on it and I'll decide later how much I still want it and what makes sense for me to do. Not to mention that sometimes they're actually happening on the same day, like August 8th, for example, for eight, eight portal events. But it's definitely some kind of knowledge that's in the ethers, that's in the air, that's wanting you to get it, to know about it. So some kind of insight, maybe. <sighs> that's a hint. For masculines we, masculines, we have clean, clear, delete. Oh, sorry. Cancel, clear, delete. Use only positive words and thoughts as they are rapidly manifesting into form. Ask the angels to cancel the effects of past negative thinking. Yes, this is where we can uh, ask for more support, first of all. And the other side of it is, um, again, going back to energy healing, uh, sound healing, all this therapies, Reiki even. Uh, there's so many practices that can help you uh, cleanse the energy or um, heal your body, uh, which is still connected to the thought pattern, right? One way or another. It can be subconscious, it can be conscious. That part varies. It can be deeper, it can be more on the surface. Uh, but it's really important to um, deal with the thinking part as well, with the mental part. There could be some exceptions where... <clears throat> Uh, basically, our higher power is saying, like, you've done enough of learning through karmic scenarios and we can just remove it now. We can cleanse it from, cleanse you from this uh, negative energy, from this pain. But most of the time, we are supposed to take in the lessons. We are supposed to uh, adjust our way of thinking, of living, of doing, of loving. Um, and so, yeah, this is the time for you to figure out masculines, to figure out how to change that negative thinking into positive not just the words but what stands behind them and remember even if you have affirmations if you are working with if you're doing guided meditations with someone it still needs to sink in and you still need to understand what it means because a lot of times people are skipping that step and that's the most important step if you are saying it but you don't believe it deep down it's not really gonna work because they are it's gonna override it right energy doesn't lie Okay, the Muse Tarot for our reading today. I'm excited to be back to all of my decks. 
and yeah i'm still open to you guys helping me extend my collection so check out my amazon uh, wish list if there is anything there that you wish i was using for our readings then uh you can get it for me and i will be using it all right and today for the last question it will be messages between the twins haven't done that for a while three of materials those three of pentacles the bottom of the dead this is this is the teamwork but also in this card specifically i'm sensing more of like collective mindset or paying attention to what the collective thought on it is right again even if you already sorry guys if you've already done the work if you've changed your mindset a lot of times you can still be influenced by the collective thinking by their opinion by their validation so it's important to acknowledge that as well even if you are living in a different world of your own you know it's important to understand okay and people around me are still going to be saying xyz even people that are you know my friends and family people that i care about right but i shouldn't be um I shouldn't be going that way just because they say just because they live it their life like that six of swords I have a six of swords actually here from the other deck just on top <laughs> um and in the muse tarot oh yeah there was three of yeah so it's like uh finding your peace and going with it going uh following your path no matter what right like following your principles no matter what's going on around you and what other people are trying to either actively persuade you about or maybe just with the way that they talk they think they do you may start having doubts please put them away clear them away that's part of the cleansing that you could be doing at this time uh, feminine your energy is queen of inspiration clarified by two of wands both of them are wands actually right so it's a very fiery energy we'll even have the sun here there's a lot of, and to me, this immediately, especially with this phase, is the energy of healing and seeing clearly. Like, I see clearly what's next for me. I see clearly uh, where I want to go now, right? Because there was some confusion before. Now it starts coming to you, and it's important to use that momentum and to alchemize it into something beautiful. We see what it means for your next steps to uh, who you want to talk to, what kind of person you want to be. And what do you want to invest into, right? Your power, your gifts, your skills. For masculines, we have nine of materials clarified by six of wands. So masculines are embracing the exploring, I would even say, the freedom of their individual self, of where they are, uh, what they want, what they need in this life, not as part of the family, not as part of a friend group not as part even of a spiritual community if they're there um, not as part of their own family if they are married or have a girlfriend whatever it is but by themselves right and they can feel how much it's uh giving them a new jolt of energy new inspiration and desire i'm hearing to conquer the world but this is in a good way meaning like to learn about the world you know to uh, get clarity on how this world operates and understand where their place is in it on a higher level in a more in in the energy of freedom which is very different from when we are trying to understand how to make a living or um you know how will the world validate me right what do i need to do for people to accept me or to f tell me that i'm successful right to respect me things like that additional question page of voices clarified by knight of pentacles so both of them are about um bringing something in right this is more about communication this is more about something some kind of resources right so this is to me this is immediately uh meaningful communication right meaningful exchange right so what is possible for the twins now to have that meaningful exchange what kind of exchange could it be right to build on it because it all starts small and then it, it keeps building up uh it's not like you've been in separation and the next day necessarily you're moving together right 
especially if there was some sort of conflict if there were some unfortunate events or words that have been said before, right? It needs time to get back on track and for people to feel comfortable with each other and to uh, be able to open up and to be in that space of love, right? So what is this energy exchange that could be the next step? For feminines, the moon, or from feminines rather in this case, the moon clarified by eight of pentacles. For feminines, it's recognizing and working on the emotional balance and what's happening with their emotion and with their intuitive guidance right because sometimes we get uh guidance on some or we sense some negativity for example from our person right and we could be building communication based on that uh, which is not really fair right we can talk about it we can learn to work it out but not necessarily um act if, if this is already happening just because it's in the energy right be able to recognize uh this intuitive guidance on what's going on with you with your person and uh put it into practice like make it a point of constructive collaboration with the masculine and of course it could be positive as well and again like for example you have you know that your person loves you you can sense it in the energy but they are not saying that, they are not acting as if they do really love you, right? For some reason right now, they are keeping it to themselves. It doesn't mean that you necessarily, um, you know, you necessarily treat them as, as, as if you both are in a loving relationship because they are clearly not ready for it in their conscious space. And that, considering we live in 3D, is very important for building a life in 3D together. Right, so again, like use that caution. I'm not saying close off or walk away, but at least understand it better, right? Like what does it mean? And how can we bridge that gap in a constructive way between how they feel and what they are saying, what they're doing? Uh, for masculine, we have the full clarified by Knight of Swords. Yeah, so for masculines, it's important to be able to speak their truth to speak their mind without so it's almost the other way around without filtering it much without being afraid that they're going to be judged that uh they're going to be rejected you know that things are going to go south right and you can still say unfortunate things like in a respectful and kind manner and that's the like the communication piece is huge for the masculines right but what the spirit is saying here with the full card is that it's better to for the message to come out a little rough, but for it to be very honest. And then there's like extra, extra layers of honesty because you may think that what you're thinking right now is the honest part. But then if you dig a little deeper, and that's the exploration piece, then you understand, no, actually this is, for example, the, the thoughts are the energy of fear. Uh, and, but actually what I'm actually feeling, what is actually going on is something completely different, right? So it's like digging, digging deeper and not being afraid to tell it to yourself, right? To be honest with yourself, to admit it and to be honest with the person you love. What are, what is the message from the feminines to the masculines? We have seven of emotions clarified by six of pentacles yeah so this is that confused energy like too many choices i don't even know which way to go right and it's not choices of people in this case it's choices of which way do i want to go about in this relationship right uh even temptations i'm hearing here but deep down the feminines know and their message is i want us to be equal partners i want to establish it in an in divine timing i don't want to rush i have a lot of ways of like moving it forward, but I want this to be authentic and I want both of us to be on the same page first and not for the situation to be manufactured and somehow manipulated from either side. So that means for masculines watching that if you are still trying to manufacture something, your feminists will know and it's not going to work. And feminines, it's not that they don't want to come together. But they also want it to be authentic, meaning, for example, if they feel pain right now from what's been happening between you two, or they're dealing with the pain of their own, they aren't going to come to come forward in this because they need time and space to heal that. 
what is the message from the masculines eight of materials which is also eight of pentacles <laughs> clarified by two of swords <laughs> oh my god yes the masculines are saying they know that they need to work on the way that they are overthinking things that they keep running like do i do it this way do i do it that way between being open and loving and sensitive and you know being logical and decisive and um strict right and it's almost like there are two personalities within them and the masculine is saying i know that these personalities don't really get along well and what ends up happening is that i don't end up putting in any effort at all right so i, I overthink 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 and eventually i don't do anything and the more the stronger the feelings are the more this is happening and then i'm just frozen and of course, with the Divine Feminine, is it's as deep as it can be. The love, the feelings, the emotions. And it's that's causing even more of this freeze moment. Even when they know that they're supposed to take action. It's so hard. So they acknowledge it at this time. They don't have a good solution to it yet. And I feel like this uh, clear, clean, and uh, clear cancel and delete... Is going to be very helpful with that so masculines watching please ask your guys ask your higher power for help with that okay i'm gonna leave it here thank you so much for joining me today guys i love you all please don't forget to like the video subscribe to my channel and share it with others who may benefit from this type of information until next time